Hello, I'm Charles Abels, local photographer in and around Prescott Valley, Arizona. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this presentation. Today what I want to talk to you about is focusing, two kinds of focusing. Focusing with the rangefinder and a little bit about zone focusing. Last Monday was the Memorial Day Monday and I had went to downtown Prescott to meet with a young man who's uh, back from college for the summer and we decided to walk around the square and photograph all the activities. With me I brought my my Leica 1, it's a 1931 Leica 1. Now why do I want to talk about focusing with a rangefinder? What I ended up doing was I ended up allowing him to shoot with this camera another artist and myself and when I developed the film first thing I noticed was just even looking at the negatives I knew that the photograph was completely out of focus and that's okay it's a learning curve we all go through that I do as a matter of fact let's not beat around the bush I still go through that and I'm an old man so it set the tone to discuss with everybody here what, how to focus with the rangefinder camera. The viewfinder that is off to the left of the camera is the focus that will have the patch. And the viewfinder that's on the right hand side is the, you might say, composition viewfinder. This is a viewfinder you look through in order to compose your photograph into awesome. The intent is you take your patch that's in your focus viewfinder and you adjust. Now to adjust, you adjust it right here. And what it will do is it will take the patch and align it with the picture, your composition, until it all lines up in its squared way. So in other words, you would sit there and look through your viewfinder and then make your adjustment just like so, until the patch and the photograph aligns. The zone focus is the next thing I want to talk about. The zone focus is actually very easy to understand once you grasp it. As a matter of fact, I would even hazard a guess that if you set your film camera up or even a digital camera up and use the zone focus as opposed to the autofocus, I would bet you anything that is even faster than if you were to bring your camera up and rely on autofocus. Millets of a second, second. That counts, especially when you're out there wanting to capture a quick shot. So when you set it up, you make that first determination. What f-stop do I want to use? I have it set up at F11. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to set, in this case, I'm going to set my infinity, which is on this side here, onto the index line of 11, which is representative of F11. Pretty cool, huh? So, knowing that, once I set my max range, in this case infinity, onto the F11 index, then I look and see what I have, and I have approximately on this camera a minimum distance length of, uh, I could say, four and a half to five feet. When I set this camera up 
for the zone focus, I got anywhere from, we'll say, five feet to infinity. And then my, my photograph should come out pretty decent, pretty sharp for what I need. I'm going to share with you a picture that I took that was zone focused. I believe I had it set at F9. My shutter speed was at 1 60th of a second. And the film that I was using was Kodak T-Max 100. Because when you look at the photograph, you'll see that the background is fairly sharp. She was blurry. Now I think it's still compliment. There was enough details to where you could recognize her. But what it does is it creates an illusion of movement. That was unintentional on my part. And at a 1 60th of a second. I mean, that's a fast shutter, but maybe her movement was a little quicker in that she was slightly blurred, creating a, a sense of movement. That's all I wanted to talk about. And of course, I'm going to remind everybody to, if you hadn't already, subscribe to my channel. I want to thank everybody that has subscribed to my channel. And I hope this little tidbit helps out. Rangefinder or focusing with a rangefinder camera is not that hard. Just remember you have a patch and that you align the patch. Zone focus is great. It saves millionths of a second, I'm sure, seconds, I'm sure, from autofocus kicking in. You just, you just bring it up and shoot. It's great. I mean, you don't have to worry about autofocus. Just let the zone focus do the work. Save the time. So, having said that, I think I want to mosey. I got things I got to get done today. And without further ado, we'll catch you later.